We have a 1v1 clan versus clan Macedon, KOTW clan Crusader versus Bofu from the Hell clan. I think he's got five Royal Pikes there. Gold, gold. He's only got four Macedonian Cav, companion Cav, sorry. Gold, gold. Two Light Lancers. Gold attack, and he probably has six archers there. Gold attack. Carthaginian Sacred Band, six Sacred Band, Gold Gold, and the rest of the Slingers. Gold Gold. Four Sacred Band Cav, Gold Gold, and he's got no Numidian Jab Cav, which I would probably always recommend taking those against Mastodon in 15k. Seems to be what most players do. And they're pretty useful. For various reasons. So to watch his general doesn't get charged here. Let's put him in the centre, but still he's in the front line. The gold gold upgrades will make them very tough and hard to beat. Um, you can easily get the archer advantage severely here because he's got the two light lances to take out the other cav. I'll take out the slinger, so if you can take those out, you have a massive archer advantage, which you can just then flame up these. They might be a little... The Royal Pikes might be a little faster than the Sacred Band as well, because they're less armoured. So you have to skirmish them a bit more effectively. Should really charge it in and wedge it with these light lances to support then and he probably could have taken out Carthage's cav, which he has managed to do. So now all he has to do is skirmish and win this. This is why you bring light cav. The warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. The Numidian cav pays off. Again. 